Everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So multiple news outlets have reported that Trump's terrorists, because that's really what they are, in Texas, uh, they surrounded a Biden-Harris campaign bus. They slowed traffic to about 20 miles per hour. They were yelling obscenities at the people inside the bus and threats. They hit one of the vehicles traveling with their team, at least it appeared to be traveling with them. It could have just been someone on the highway at the same time. And they tried to run the bus and other cars off the road. So take a look. There were several videos posted by various people. They were on the highway at the same time. So take a look and then we'll talk about it. Running them out of Texas. It is hilarious. I'm about to run out of gas, which I'm sure some of you would love. <laughs> Shit, look at that. <gasps> oh my God. There you see, these people were clearly out to cause problems. They were clearly there to be assholes. They were allegedly waiting along Highway I-35. There have been numerous reports saying that they were sitting waiting for the bus to come by, and then they ambushed it. And the San Antonio FBI is now investigating. They're looking at you know multiple incidences of harassment and violence. Biden and Harris, neither one were on the bus, but there were other people on the bus who were who are running for other seats in Congress. Um, you know, and some of these morons, some of these MAGA morons traveling in this group were stupid enough to share videos of their illegal activity online. So they just made it really easy to identify the perpetrators by their license plate numbers. But Yet, both Trump and Marco Rubio praised these terrorists. And then Trump whined about the FBI getting involved, of course, because, you know, yeah, Mr. Law and Order is fine with one of his Trump supporters ramming another car for no reason. So he first tweeted, quote, I love Texas. Then on Sunday, after the FBI said, yeah, we're involved, yeah, we're looking into it, he tweeted out, quote, in my opinion, these patriots did nothing wrong. Instead, the FBI and justice should be investigating the terrorists, anarchists, and agitators of Antifa who run around burning down our Democrat-run cities and hurting our people. First of all, show me a video of Antifa ramming into a Trump caravan or bus. Show me a video of Antifa actually burning down a city. Research upon research upon study upon study shows that the majority of the violence, even with the BLM protests, was not perpetrated by Antifa. I mean, come on. And then if you look at studies too that talk about the most violent crime-ridden cities they are typically not Democrat cities. So, and then Marco Rubio, as I mentioned, got in the mix. He was at a Trump rally and he said, we love what they did. So they love that their supporters are terrorizing people. They love that they're acting out in violent ways, ramming their vehicles. They love that these people scared those on the bus so much that they had to shut down two of their planned campaign rallies. This just shows that the MAGA crowd is completely desperate. These are the actions of desperate people who know they're losing. I mean, they're resorting to violence. They clearly think they can't win any other way, that it can't be legitimate election. And Republican lawmakers and Trump have resorted to stochastic terrorism. They're literally inciting violence by saying how great this is. Trump later said at a rally that, oh, my supporters are just doing this because 
they're great people. They were protecting the Biden bus. Yeah, that's it. You ram, you ram cars. You try to run buses off the road when you're trying to protect them. And Don Jr. too is putting out a plea for this. Eric Trump put out his own message. They're all calling for these, quote, Trump trains to show their support. Yeah, okay, drive down the road, show your support. But why is it that you have to take terroristic action, surround someone's bus, try to run it off the road, and try to terrify them? If you know you've got this, if you know that you're good and your guy is so great that you're going to win, what are you doing? Why are, why are you choosing the actions of a desperate person? You don't seem too secure there, MAGA folk. You seem a little desperate and a little sad. Anyway, guys, as always, like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching and listening. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.